Now, Henry is often on Twitter. I mean, actually not often, always. He's always on Twitter, always on Instagram. He's always talking shit. We've even seen him, uh, you know, helping out Boricina, Paulo Costa. He's gotten a little bit fluffy on the off-season. Now that he's retired, you know, he's enjoying the good life. He's got a little bit of money in his pocket. He's getting a bit fluffy. And he's often talking a bit of shit on Twitter saying, you know, Davison Figueroa and Alex Volkanovsky, you know, I'm coming for your belts and shit like that. But he's not really doing anything. I actually think he could come back in 2021 or 2022 because... His last fight was against Dominic Cruz where, you know, he smashed him in the first round. But there was no crowd. And I feel like Henry really enjoys a crowd. And I think the reason why he left was also a ploy to get more money as well. So they could definitely set up Henry Cejudo coming to fight at Flyweight or Bantamweight or something like that. And then whatever venues he wants to go from there. But he's... Not really in fighting shape right now. He's a bit fl- he's a bit fluffy right now. There's a huge difference to between like him shredded beforehand when he's fighting for, for the bantamweight title, and then there's him now who he's got a bit of a belly. He's enjoying himself. Mm-hmm. Do you think Henry would, will will come soon, or do you reckon he's retired forever? Good question. Mm, it's just you put it all on the line if he came back. He puts everything on the line, you know what I mean? He would have to start again from scratch, you know what I mean? And you now Davis and Figueroa, and then you've got Brandon Marrero, and then you've got Brandon Roivo, and then at Featherweight, we've got all the bloody kings of, oh, I mean, we got, sorry, at Flyweight and Bantamweight, you know, it's just Bantamweight, we got TJ Dillashaw coming back, we got Aldo in the mix, we got Pure de Yarn. I mean, I'm just... I wouldn't mind seeing Henry Cejudo versus TJ Dillashaw. I know, but the division's just moved on. That's all. It, it's hard. On. It's Both hard to take that time moved off. On very, very well since the loss of Cejudo. Cejudo was a pioneer for flyweight and bantamweight because there was a time when we talked about that Dana wanted to get before we even before we even started this podcast. We used to have conversations about the fact that Dana wanted to get rid of the bantamweight division because mm. he's always had issues with Demetrius Johnson. Who even well what for for two reasons one the guy was basically unbeatable two the guy doesn't sell you know bantamweight and flyweight has never sold really mm-hmm. right up until today now you got to beg the question was it because of her Cejudo probably but is it because of Cejudo right now that the bantamweight is popular and all that not quite I feel like it's got it its brought own some start. attention it yeah. brought some attention but it's but it's it, come a long way yeah. since it lost to Cejudo. I mean with Davison now I think the reason why the flyweight stayed was not only Cejudo's like you know skill level it's mostly the talking shit part Henry Cejudo doing the the king of cringe and all the talking shit brought a lot of attention Davison Figueredo who's now just like an angry fuck he's just an angry little bastard and he is st- an absolute killer, and he just talks shit all the time. Davison, Fig- uh, Davison Figueroa and Henry Cejudo, they, they, they talk shit, and it's just not, it's not um, DJ's kind of cup of tea. It's just not what he's really done. He's always carried himself and more as a martial artist than a prized fighter, and sometimes that upsets Dana White because he wants to line his pockets, and it's difficult. I still think that DJ is the goat, but I don't think he did any favors with himself not promoting himself as much as Henry Cejudo and and uh, Davidson Figueroa. Yeah, it's difficult there. There's been times, of course, in the past where Dane has just not got on well with certain fight, certain fighters, and it's been blatantly obvious. Like Tyron Woodley, he's always had a hard time with Tyron Woodley. You know what I mean? He's had a hard time with Demetrius Johnson and. You know, and he's had a hard time. The UFC's always had a hard time with the Diaz brothers. Like.